Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello. Hello, hello. What are you doing? Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Kennedy. What are you doing? Hi, Lady Wolf. What are you doing? This is my piece of acetate. <laughs> Looks cool from the back, too. Hi, Joy. You're eating chocolate chip teddy bears? Teddy Graham? Hi, Teresa. Where's my chocolate chip teddy bears? That's not very nice. You don't save any for me. I'm telling my mommy on you. Well, sorry you missed it. But just so you know, if you don't want to miss it, just remember it's every Wednesday night. Then you won't miss it. Then you could just come to my channel. Wednesday nights. Usually about between 8 and 9. Like, I usually start between 8 and 9. But if you're in our group, are you in our group, Lady Wolf? I would take some Kennedy, but you're hogging them all. <laughs> oh, it doesn't show up till you hit subscribe. That's why I couldn't see it. I was like, where's the bell? Because usually I see the bell. I don't know. I couldn't see it on my channel either. I looked. But it's probably because it was my channel. I don't know. Anyway. They keep changing things. Hi, Patty Ann. How dare you not get on my ch on my group page today? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you have a life other than my Facebook group? That's true. You can go back and watch or you can get the prompts from the group and play along. and still be entered to win for next week. Not that, not that many people missed it because we had over a hundred people watching and we had several, lots of people that participated. So and it must've just been a few people. We had a good turnout. That does not sound fun that you are getting rods readjusted in your back. 
That just made my back hurt worse. <laughs> that sounds painful. How, how, how often do you have to do that? And is it painful? Hi, Carla. Yeah, it made my it made my back just twinge just <laughs> listening reading that. I was like, "Oh, that does not sound fun." Hmm. Now, do you have to keep those in? You have to get them every three weeks adjusted and eventually you'll be able to get them out or like, how does that work? Are they inside your back or are they outside your back? Now I'm going to ask you all kinds of questions. We are going to work on these. I need some pages and whatnot. You're breaking into the raggedies. What's that? What's a raggedies? You won't miss the live stream. You can just get the prompts and then just do it without looking at the live stream that, you know, that we did for it. You can work on it while we're doing this, whatever I'm doing. Getting pages for journals. I am in your room. I'm hiding in your closet. Oh, wow. So every three weeks for the rest of your life, you have to have them adjusted or just until they adjust them to where they need to be. That's crazy. A reconstructed backbone. How do they do that? This is all fascinating to me because I've never heard of such things. And my nails are really dirty, but it's not because I'm nasty. It's because I got paint all in them. They were clean when I started Mixed Media Mashup, but it looks like I never washed my hands. Isn't that gross? But I do. I just scrubbed them actually with a scrub brush. Still couldn't get the paint out from underneath of them. It's disgusting. I'm sure nobody wants to see that. I hate when my nails look like that because then I, I, I look at them and I initially think, ew, it's like dirt in my nails, but it's not. It's paint. Oh, um... Who was it that sent that to me? Because I looked at it so fast. I didn't pay attention to who sent it. Because I'm a dumbass. It was you, Carla. I, I thought it was you, but I wanted to be sure. Um, oh, hold on a second. Let me get deal with uh, uh, this real quick.
Uh, anyway, Carla, you sent me a link for the, um, I, Christy, I just sent you the information for the Patreon stuff because I wanted to do that now before I forgot. See how easily I get sidetracked? I went there specifically to look and see who it was that sent me the Tim Holtz video about the pearl alcohol inks. And then I saw Christy's message and I got sidetracked. So, okay, so once the attraction is done, the bone should take around the rods double. Had a double back surgery and uh, someone else's, wait, what? They use someone else's spine to redo yours? I've never heard of such things. Huh. Wow, that's amazing that they can do that. I have a really bad back, but it ain't that bad. Hopefully, it never will be. I can't imagine. That's got to be like, the, you were pro. So, in other words, this is going to get you, uh, once it, the adjusting is done and the, and the healing is done or whatever, you shouldn't have any pain or you should have less pain than you did before is basically it. Hi, Rosie. Hi, welcome. Glad to have you here. Yeah, you can message me about it if you don't want to talk about it here. Just message me because I'm interested. Because I always wonder about stuff like that. Science is amazing, isn't it? Hmm. Very much. So I've got these two journals I'm working on. One is mostly purple based and the other one is mostly yellow based. Hi, Deborah and Marion and Anybody else? Did I say hi to you? I think I said hi to Marion already. I don't remember. You have a question about mixed media mashups? What, what's your question? Well, I'm going to be working on this journal, at least somewhat, to put, I'm going to put together some pages for it. That's what I'm going to be doing. I don't know if you want to do that, but <laughs> yes, um, yeah, you do have to do them in order. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Maritza or Arlena. I get confused and I always want to call you Maritza, but your name is Arlena, right? These covers started from cereal boxes. I'll actually be doing a video. Um, I did that one video yesterday that you might have saw where I kind of step by step really slowed down the process of making just a one signature journal, which we, we got everything together for it. But now the next video will be sewing the pages together. And then, and then we're going to do one made out of a cereal box. So that will be coming up. Um, so you'll get to see 
how exactly I do this step by step. I mean, if you want to, if you're in my Patreon, you might have seen the live stream I did working on these. Um, when did I start these? Was I did I do that in a Patreon live stream or did I do that after the auction? I think I did it after the auction. So you might be able to see that. I think that was a public on Sunday. So you, I think there's a live stream that showed me doing it. But if you want to, I didn't really do a step-by-step -step on how to do it. I was just doing it. So if you want, you can wait for the video, which will probably be next week by the time I get to it sometime. Um, hopefully. Um, but that'll be more step-by-step. -step. Yeah, with the vinyl cover. You got 50 cereal boxes. <laughs> Sounds like me. I have a bunch. But you don't have to use cereal boxes. You can use any box. So if you have cracker boxes or pasta boxes or you know any kind of box like that any kind of food box generally works great yeah that's right I did do it after the auction so yeah it's, it's on a public live stream so you'll be able to go back and see it see me do it um, but if you don't have any kind of box and you don't want to use any kind of box, um, you can use chipboard. You can even use cardstock as long as you cover it with, um, another paper so that it's more sturdy. If you're going to make a spined journal, one with like a spine. Um, I'm kind of going to go over everything as I do these videos that I'm doing. Because I'm kind of doing videos. Um, starting with the most simple one, step, one signature journal. Then I'm going to move on to this. But I may or may not do... I did the... the you know, I did it with the... In the next video, I may or may not show real quick because I did it with a piece of vinyl. And I know that there's people out there that are going to not realize, even though I said it a thousand times, that the vinyl is, you can substitute that with a piece of paper folded, you know, with a piece of cardstock, with a piece of chipboard folded in half. But because people sometimes, um, I am going to go over a few, you know, I don't know. I'm going to try to maybe squeeze in to show that whether it's paper or the vinyl, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Well, if you got cereal boxes and you don't really need it, unless you need like a super thick piece, which is, you know for some reason, then you either glue two pieces of cereal box together. <laughs> um, I have only done a gutted book like twice. Um, But I plan on doing another one of those in the future at some point here because I've got an, uh, people that have wanted me to do that for a while. I just haven't done one in forever. Um, I guess because when I started using recycled materials like the boxes, I just found that I think they worked fine. And, you know, I just haven't done a, a recycled book in a long time. I did one like, I never done one on my channel, I don't think. I don't think I've ever done a recycled book on my channel, or have I? Aside from the little golden book that I recycled and used that. But I don't think I've done one on my channel, but I have done them in the past, but only like twice. I believe one of them was a swap, and the other one I gave as a gift to somebody. 
I made actually that one was an art journal that I made out of a gutted book and put watercolor paper and like um, thick what was that paper I don't remember some paper that I had that wasn't yeah that was an art journal one of them was like a journal journal the other one was an art journal and those are the only two I've ever done but I haven't done any really since because yeah like ever since I started using boxes I was just using boxes I have the books I have them ready to, to go but I just haven't done it hi Laura uh what do you what do you mean you already paid for one month you went through patreon right patreon takes it out automatically every month the one dollar so when you sign up for patreon it'll just auto come out on the first of the month so it comes out every month on the first of the month I think the boxes are easier to work with, I guess, but I, the books are fine. I just usually, I don't usually, I, th I don't remember if I ever stitched right through the spine of the book or if I did my little thing where I'd use a piece of chipboard and uh, stitch all the pages into that and then glue it in. I can't, rem I know, oh, I don't remember. No, I think I did one where I stitched right through the spine. But was the other one done the other way? Maybe. The art journal was stitched right through the spine of the book. T, I am not buying you diamond jewelry. I've already told you I am not your sugar mama. Just kidding. <laughs> What's your question? but not the active live. What do you mean? Like you can like when you say you can see and hear me, but not the active live. Do you mean the chat? You can't, you can't see the chat. What are you tying a knot for? What are you, what are you tying a knot in, T? Tying a knot for, like, what kind of jewelry are you doing? Give us some details, because I don't know what you're talking about, a knot. Hi, Jacqueline. Who are you talking to, Christy? Oh, so you could see the chat, but are you talking about, but you can't, like, in other words, are you talking about you haven't been able to see the videos live? You only see them recorded after the live stream? Is that what you're saying? After stringing jewelry. So in other words, you're making like beaded, what kind of string are you using? Is it like, are you beating something onto it, like a necklace, and then you want to tie it off? I'm be ashamed of. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of jewelry you're making. Hi, Kathy. Yeah, that's the part I don't like about the books is that if you if you only have one with that big of a spine, you can only fit three, th maximum usually like three signatures, and that's tight even. Okay, so like a cording, yeah, just tie it. I mean, if you're just, I mean, are you trying to make it look like fancy or anything? Because all you got to do is like a slip knot, you know, where you take the two here. I'll show you. Piece of string. So 
you know, if you're just tying it for you to wear, you know what I mean? You would just take it like, here's your necklace, bracelet, whatever you're making. And just take the two pieces and tie it in a knot like this. If you're just doing a necklace for you and you don't have any closures on it or anything. Yeah, just, oh, no necklace, just a strand. Yeah, just do that. Just do that kind of knot where you just knot it like that. You know what I mean? That's fine. I see and hear you, but not the chat. Well, I asked you if you saw the chat. So you don't see the chat then. So you're there during the live stream, but you can't see the chat. You're not seeing the chat and not able to chat in the chat, basically. Well, I'll show you how to fix that, Laura. Because sometimes with the, because the Patreon live streams are unlisted, and I do them unlisted through Facebook, I mean YouTube, sometimes the chat doesn't come up because when you're clicking on it through Patreon and it brings you, and if you're on a tablet, it usually brings you to the internet on the tablet. It doesn't bring you to your YouTube app. So there's a difference. If it would bring you to the YouTube app, it will open up under your YouTube like you've signed in. But because it's opening it up on your, because it's opening up on your tablet, it's opening it up via the internet and not through the YouTube app. So what you have to do is, I'm trying to see if it'll let me do it. Uh, hey, now that the stop it. I don't know if this will let me show you. It might. Okay, so there'll be three dots. And usually, no, that's not the, the where. It'll usually be above your chat. Like it'll be above up here. Yeah, like up here. It'll be like three dots. And it'll say, see this one says open in the internet. But on yours, since you're, you'll already be open in the internet, it'll say open in the YouTube app or open in app. That's what you want. You want to open it in the app. So you'll see three dots at the top. Yeah, it'll alert you in the email and then you click on it through the email or on the Patreon page. Right, this is the reason, yeah, you could chat in it in public because it's opening up in your, in the actual app on your tablet. But when you're opening it from a private one, it wants, for some reason, it op doesn't open it in your app. It opens it, on the browser of your tablet. So all you gotta do is click the three dots at the top. And some people have three dots and then another three dots, like one is from your browser and one is from something else. Just one of the three dots, sets of three dots, will have where it'll say open in the app. So open it in the app is what you wanna do. Because your app will have you signed in and then it'll let you chat. But when you're opening, when it opens up into the browser of your tablet, you're not signed in. So that's all you got to do is just, just when you open it and it start, you see me, you know, you see the live stream and you can't chat, just click on the three dots at like the top right side and it'll open, it'll say open in app or open in YouTube or something like that. And if for some weird reason it doesn't say that, It'll at least, if you click on the three dots, say sign in to YouTube. And then you could sign in to YouTube from there. So either way, you can either sign in to YouTube or it'll say open in app. And once either way, if it'll open it in the app, you'll see the chat. Or if you sign into YouTube from there, it'll, you'll, it'll show the chat. Does that make sense?
It probably let you at first because it maybe somehow opened in your app um, and you were signed in, but then, or either that or you were signed in on the browser at one point and then it, 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 it unsigned you in or signed you back out or something. But usually once you do it once, once you do it and click open an app, it'll open it in the app every time. So you don't have to keep doing it usually. So hopefully that'll work. Hopefully. T, did you get a knot done on your thing? Hi, Janie. All right, mm, let's see. You're messing with the camera? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Let me see if there's any yellow pages in here that I want to pull out of this book. They're in the back, I think, right? Yeah. Mm. That one's got yellow, so we can pull that one. I like the thin pages for journals because the thinner the pages why is this thing so terrible at ripping the pages out it's like the worst because it's not all the way connected to the pages i don't know why it does it useless rest of the yellow ones. Oh, never mind. There's one here. Okay, then. Once again, this is annoying. Come on, dude. I've got time for this. i got places to go. I didn't see your question. Can you repeat it or so that I don't have to move everything out of the way to get to my mouse and scroll up? <laughs> I'm bad at having my my camera zoomed in. I always go out of out of range. Always, it's a pain in the ass. You have to something you got to keep your eyes on all the time. Is that all the yellow? Come on, there's more yellow. There's all these. Where are all these at? Are they sporadic? Yeah, of course they are. Pain in my ass. Hmm, you got the Logitech like I have. Annoying Logitech. I'll have to utilize that one now. This book is stupid. I've had it for so long. A really long time. Not a huge fan. I don't know if I want to put that one in there or not. Of books that don't rip properly. What was your question, Kathy? Is that you messaging me? <laughs> Somebody's messaging me. Now my phone won't turn on. Nope. It was Chris. Okay.
Patty Ann, if you, what do you want to do? You're in bed. If you're in bed and you got to get up in six hours, you're going to be pretty miserable if you try to do something now. What do you have to get up for in six hours? Work or a doctor's appointment? If it's work, then you should just not go to work. <laughs> Can you imagine? Don't go to work. Just stay home. I guess that's it. I thought there was more than that. Can I get those already? Yeah. Okay. 360 sheets in here. Alright, hold on. Let's get this out of the way. Ooh, now I can get this one up here, but before I do that, I'll clear out my mouse so I can see what Kathy's question was, because she's not repeating it. Well, once my mouse gets buried on my desk, it's hard for me to... Sometimes it's hard for me to get it back for a minute. You have a question? I don't see a question from you, Kathy. At all. And I went all the way back. From before you were even in here. What was your question? Because I don't see it. I don't see a question from you. Isn't that weird? You're going to have to repeat it because I'm not seeing it. All I saw was that you said you were back for a short time. You'll be going to bed. And then I saw you say hi to T. You said hi, Sassy, not me, Kennedy. And then I'm looking. I don't see anything until you say hi to Janie. And then you ask me if I saw your question. So I don't see it. Oh, you just asked it again. Um, but I, it's not showing up on my chat if you did. Yes, I did repeat. You did? What the hell, man? It's not showing up. Look, I'll show you. Like, I ain't joking. You said, look. You said, look. Yes, I did repeat. Let me see. Going up. Where'd you repeat it at? Christie's. See, look, Stacy, did you see my question above? And then above here, there's no question from you. I went all the way up. And then you said you repeated it, but we just went through and I didn't see it again. See, you said, hi, Sassy, not me. That was like the second thing you said. And then there's no question from you. And this, you said, hi, Janie. And then you said, Stacy, do you see my question? Somehow, some, you might want to try refreshing and then try asking it because I'm not seeing, or just message me if it's something that you can, that I can answer on there because it's not showing up here. I don't know why. It's like Facebook is drunk. So you said, yes, I did repeat, but it's not there. Whoa, what just happened? Just ask it again. What is going on? Am I on like drugs or something? Is anybody else not seeing this question either? I have repeat. Wow. Something's going on, Kathy. I don't know why. Yeah, no, we're not seeing it. So put it in my, just message it to me and I'll go look. All right, my mouse just died. Okay, stop. Yeah, just message it to me on Facebook and then I'll go look for it. Because I don't know what the hell is going on, but I don't see it. That happened once before. Who was that with? That somebody kept saying they were saying something, and then I, I kept going back, and I was like, I don't see it. I don't see it. 
yeah, I, I don't know why that happens every now and again. I don't know. Very weird. It's kind of yellow, but it's like cream color. Less yellow, more cream color. Yeah, just message it to me on Facebook. So clearly, <laughs> this ain't going to allow you to post it to me for some reason. Oh, it doesn't have yellow in it other than that. That's not really yellow. Okay, well then, piss off. I don't want you. I don't want you. You can keep your stupid thing. Let's see, what about this one? This one. There's a couple of yellow pages. Okay. I'll look in a second. Let me just pull out what I need out of this one. There we go. This. shade of yellow but it's yellow nonetheless that's like an orange I don't really want the orangey color okay I see your question I want to use embossing powder on a die cut but I don't have a stamp Play the die cut. Yeah, you, you just press the die cut to the to the Versamark stamp pad. That's what I always do. I don't. Is that what you're talking about? The or the or the color like what do you do? You have Versamark, you know, like a an embossing ink, or are you just talking about regular ink? Are you wanting to change the color of the die cut or? You just want to, do you have like, you know, the embossing ink, the clear ink stuff that. Yeah, if you have embossing ink, like Versamark or something, yeah, you would just press the die cut, just press the die cut into it in different areas. That's what I always do anyway. I never use any kind of stamp to do die cuts or anything. I would just like take this and pretend the cover's off. I would just press it and press it and just make sure you get it real good all over the whole thing and then flip it over on your paper, sprinkle your stuff on. Yeah, that's it. It's so weird. That question didn't want to show up. Yeah, there you go. That'll work. I don't necessarily want Hawaiian stuff, but there is a yellow page in here. I don't have a lot of yellow paper, so I'm going to see if I can get it from where I can get it from. Which this one, I thought it had yellow. There it is. But what's on the other side? Yeah, I guess I can use that. These want to rip out very easily. One. Purple in this one. 
Let's not have an, I, an, uh, an emoji or icon party here as they get annoying on the screen all the time. Did I cut that one out or no? Is that the only one that's yellow? What about that? How did I see that and it didn't? There's yellow right there. That's a little green on it. Oh, not yellow. Ew, but I don't want that, so I'm not I'm going to omit. I'm hungry. Need to get something to eat. Yellow, that's bright yellow. And that's it. <laughs> See if there's any yellow in here. is because that's where I got the cover page from so different shades of yellow Kennedy enough with the emojicons or whatever they're called take a chill Annoying. I guess that's it, huh? The three sixty five pages of scrap of paper. Which one's that? I want some cake. Yes, please. that in it it's probably about it <laughs> no you don't have an enormous hoard of papers like I do <laughs> and hoard is the optimal word here that's what I normally do is hoard my paper but not anymore as you can see I'm ripping right out <laughs> Oh, are you talking about the like the one I have? Or just any one in general you were talking about? Did I use this one in some? Yeah, I don't want to do that one. Because I have that one, but it's old as dirt. That has the 300 pages in it. Um, this does not have yellow. This does not have yellow. That does not have yellow. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm getting an upset stomach because I haven't eaten anything in a while. Hold on, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to fill my drink and see if there's something to grab to snack on. I'll be right back.
Okay, sorry. I needed to get something to eat and I had to clean up after the dogs because they decided that they were going to chew apart a toy all over the living room. And I made coffee. Whoops, and spilled it. And a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because I'm starving. Hi, Nina. And Ray. And Shazzy. She wanted to get sneaky snacks? When? What message and when? Here on Facebook? I can tell my blood sugar is dropping because I haven't eaten all day. Oh, I haven't looked at my PayPal. What did you do, Janie? You make me kick your ass or what? Yeah, I've done nothing. Well, if it would let me go to my PayPal, that would be ideal. Excuse you, let me go. <sighs> PayPal, seriously. Thank you. Janie. Janie, I'm going to come through there and I'm going to cut off your toes and your fingers. What's that for? I don't need a gift for my birthday. Thank you, Janie. She sent me money through PayPal. You're very sweet. Thank you. You don't have to do that, you know. Sorry if I'm scarfing this down, but I'm like shaking because I forgot to eat. Which happens when, I, especially when I'm not on prednisone. I'm on half the dose, but I already noticed my appetite decreasing. Yeah, that was sneaky. Yes, Janie is very sweet. very generous and sweet and shouldn't be giving me money for my birthday oh my birthday's on Saturday Saturday. Um, I'm dropping things on the floor. My mug warmer is on the other side of the room and I'm too lazy to get it. Plus this mug is a bit too big so it kind of hovers over the thing. It doesn't really stay on the plate because this is like a really fat mug, this mug. But I love it. It's got unicorns. As long as you're alive. <laughs> well, if you're dead, I mean, depending on how you were marinated, you might be sweet. <laughs> Capricious. <laughs> Capricious Unite. Is that what it's called when you have more than one Capricorn? A Capricious? A Capri 
How do you even say that? I don't even know how to say it. Hi, Marianne. We should celebrate all month long. It's my birthday month. Hell, we should just celebrate all year long. This coffee's yummy. I don't drink it very often, but when I do, it's yummy. It's really hot, but it's yummy. I want to try to drink at least most of it before it gets cold. I don't need to drink the whole thing, but... Good night, Patty Ann. You're a Libra? Yeah, that's what Chris is. You're the only Libra I like, then. <laughs> I don't like Libras, generally. Only because of Chris. Well, actually, I don't like Chris. So... <laughs> Who celebrated a long time last year? I did. Oh, well, I, well, I think I did my birthday journal for several weeks. Or several live streams, at least. And I still have my birthday journal, and it's still not done yet. And I still have all the stuff for it still separated that everybody gave me to put in it. But I got so much stuff for it. And I still have... Well, I gotta, where did I put that journal at? I think it's in my cabinet. Either that or on my shelf in my closet. But either or, I wonder if I should get that out and, well, I probably will work on these journals or maybe something different. I don't know. All right, these two and these all need to be cut little things off the top. And thank you, Janie. I can't believe you did that. Oh, Chris's mom? sent me a, Chris was all like I don't understand why my mom sent you such expensive things but didn't send me nothing as <laughs> apparently and I told him I said it's probably because Chris I send your mom cards and stuff like you should be doing because that is your mom not my mom she's my mother-in-law but you need to be sending her birthday cards Christmas cards whatever and Chris doesn't because he's lazy But I do send her cards, and I put his name still to this day, because he doesn't send her cards. But she knows it's me, and she knows we don't live together. So she knows that he has nothing to do with it. So for his birthday, she gave him nothing. For my birthday, she gave me a $125 purse last year. And this year, which this is a little bit weird, but I don't care. She gave me the exact same purse in white. Well, it's actually like a cream color. So, I'm not sure why she did the exact same purse. I, I don't know. But maybe she really likes it. I mean, I really like the purse. I'm, it's, now, that I, I've never had a purse that was more than like $30 or $40. So, I have two purses that are $125 a piece. Which, to me, is extremely expensive. Um, like, super expensive. In my opinion, like I would never buy that, spend that much money on a purse. Not because I don't wouldn't want a purse that expect. I don't know if I'd want a purse that expect. I've always wanted a Louis Vuitton purse, just the the standard little one with the little handles that is like that big and it has like the L LV all over it, like the regular pattern. I've always wanted one of those. Um, I had an opportunity to get one once when I was cleaning for somebody. This lady I was cleaning for had one and she was going to sell it. And she said that she would sell it to me. But I didn't, I couldn't afford to not, to, to buy it from her really. That's what it came down to. So I didn't. But anyway, that's the only kind of purse I ever wanted was one of those. Um, just because, I don't know. And I wanted, like, it, and, I, and it's not something I wanted so bad that I was, like, dreaming of it in any way. It's just if I was going to get my own, like, nice kind of fancy purse, that would be what I would get, probably. Because just, I don't know. And, but I don't think about it. And I'll probably, never in a million years will I ever spend that much money. I don't care if I hit the lottery. For a purse? I don't know. 
so but I could show you the purse that she got me if you want to see it I'm a little confused why she gave me the exact same purse but well, she likes me better than she likes her son <clears throat> Chris was so mad though when I opened the purse and he's like, I don't get it. I didn't get nothing for my birthday. I looked at him and I said, well, that's because I send her the cards, dumbass. He's like, oh, so you're sucking up. I'm like, Chris, I'm like, she sent me two presents for my birthday two years in a row. And I said, before that, all I got, if I was, I was lucky to get a card. I said, only these past two years, she sent me a present. I said, otherwise, I haven't gotten anything from her. And just randomly, all of a sudden, she starts sending me birthday and Christmas presents. The past, well, Christmas presents, they pretty much, except for like one year, always gave us me and Chris stuff. But my birthday, that was hardly ever. Oh, thank you, Kennedy. That's sweet. You don't have to do that. I don't care if it comes after my birthday. I ain't. I'm not in a rush for anything ever. Yeah, I would be afraid. That's I'd be. I'll be. You know, if I ever owned a Louis Vuitton, I I don't even know if I'd ever let it leave the house. But I would just want it. <laughs> I mean, I probably would, but I wouldn't, you know, I would only take it to places where I didn't have to really put it down or, you know, you know, like if I took it to the grocery store, okay, fine, because, you know, or if I took it to like dinner and it got to sit next to me, that would be fine. But anywhere where I had to like, you know, like, if, like in other words, when I, what, if I would go to karaoke, I would never bring it because... I have to get up from my seat to go sing, and I can't bring the purse with me. That's what I mean by, like, I would, wouldn't take it with me then to, like, a bar or something. I would only take it, like, to places where I can have it right on me. I mean, I feel the same way about the purse that Chris's mom gave me because, it to me, that's an expensive purse. So, I don't really, you know, I took it with me to karaoke when me and Chris went because he was there. So, he was sitting at the table the entire time. He didn't let it go out of his sight. I'm going to cut this down after where I ripped it. Use that for scraps in the journal. Yes, I'll get it. I don't know if you guys saw my black one. It's by... Um, it's it's a designer purse. It's by the the wife of David Bowie and the wife of somebody else got together and made a, a purse line called Imaz I something like that. You can look it up online, but that's their it's uh two women that are have famous husbands, let's put it that way. And they got together and made a line of purses and so that's the purse that I got and they're a hundred and twenty something dollars a piece that had so many designer purses in her closet that her closet alone was probably worth easily a half a million or a million bucks. Even her husband told me that. He was not happy about the purse buying because he would always tell me, you know, just, just ignore the bags and he would roll his eyes because there would be bags down in like her office area 
all over the floor and they were filled with designer purses and he would just be like rolling his eyes and I said to him one day I take it you don't really approve of all the purses and he goes oh god he goes no he goes the, the amount of money that she keeps spending on these purses we're gonna go broke they had some money but you know they weren't like Trump rich you know or something like that they were they had money but you know and they ended up splitting up like a year later and I have a feeling I know why but her closet was lined with purses like there uh, above all the clothes there was a big it was a walk-in closet so all the way three walls around in that closet had designer purses and then on the back of the door there was this special hook on the well on the back of two of the doors there was a special hook that had um it was a special hook for like putting your fancy purses on and it held like 12 purses and she had one of those on the back of the closet door and one of those on the back of the other kind of closet door or more it was on the front of the that closet door i think i don't know there was two of them and then she had boxes underneath one of the wall, long walls of her clothes was all stacked up boxes and one day I was moving them and I thought they were going to be empty and I lifted one of the box tops up and there was a purse inside so all of these purse boxes had were filled with purse like all kinds of crazy crazy expensive purses and then of course every time I came there there was another bag with purses in it or whatever it was crazy I was like wow that is quite the you know, I could I could take those purses, sell them, and pay off my house two times. Easy, if not more. That's a hell of a, uh, a habit to have. I don't know. I've never been very um, materialistic when it came... Like, I was never... I've, or, I should just put it this way. I've never... I can't say I'm not materialistic because the things I do have, I... I you know, I love the things I have. And I do have a lot of crap, like stuff in this room. So I guess that would make me materialistic in a sense because I'm not like a minimalistic person. So I don't know. But I'm not a big spender. Like I don't buy expense. Oh, and that's the other thing sh his mom bought me. I totally forgot. A pair of diamond earrings. Chris almost excuse the French shit himself when he saw the earrings. That's what triggered him. He was like, diamond earrings? I'll show you in a minute. I was shocked too. I was like completely shocked. Um, anyway, uh, like I'm not one to buy, like I, like those earrings, I'll probably never in my life wear them out of the house because I'd be afraid I'd lose them. So, you know, I, I'd constantly be touching my ears. That happened when I wore some of my mom's jewelry once. I was constantly holding onto my ears. Um, I just don't, I'm not big on, I'm not big on fancy jewelry. Yeah, see, I, I'll buy, I'll buy, like, I'm more likely to spend some money, drop, you know, money on, on craft stuff, but even then, I haven't done that in a long time, like, spent, like, you know, more than 50 or 60 bucks on something crafty or a bundle of crafty things or whatever it was. Generally speaking, I don't spend that much money, um, ever but certainly not for like luxury items. That'll never happen. Never, ever. I just don't have that taste. My mom had that taste. Um, so luckily I did not inherit that taste because I don't have, well, you know what? I'm probably a liar because I had not anymore, but like when I was making a lot of money, I would treat myself once a month to a bottle of fancy perfume that was like 60, 75, $85. I never went above a hundred dollars, but once a month, I bought myself perfume. It was designer, and I still have all of it, and I love it. So I guess that's as fancy as I get. So if that means I'm, you know, got rich blood, then whatever. I don't know. But I don't, you know, obviously I don't, haven't done it since I lost my job. But yeah, jewelry is not my thing. Shoes are not my thing. Purse is not my thing. None of that. You know, I don't even buy expensive makeup. I buy drugstore makeup. Because it's just not my thing to buy expensive. I can make do. I'm going to look just as good. And I used to do makeup. You know, like I did makeup and hair. 
for people's weddings, but I, you know, I don't feel the need to spend $35 on a foundation because the foundation I get from the drugstore is going to be just fine for me. It is not going to make a difference. Oh, let me go get that purse. Hold on a second. So, here's the purse she gave me last year. Right here. This is it. It's big, which I like big purses. So, that's it. It's by Joy Iman. That's it. Not Imez. Iman. Joy Iman is the brand. That's the one there. There. I don't know. David Bowie's wife and somebody else's wife. And I have my my unicorn and I have my chapstick and I have my always have hand sanitizer I don't really have very much in here just a few things I don't carry it very much um only if I like need to carry a lot of things I'll use it but otherwise I just grab my phone because there's like a wallet on my phone and then here's the one that I got this year which is the exact same purse in cream color I'm not exactly sure why she thought that that was a good idea, but I don't care. It's pretty. I'll use it in like the summer. But she gave me a card and these are the earrings. And the card is cute because <laughs> it's it lights up and then you blow on it and when you blow on it it plays happy birthday anyway so that's the card yeah, that's where she got it from. She got it from HSM because that's where she got the other one from. And then this is the the earrings. Not that it'll focus. Come on. Nope. Oh, I have the autofocus off. Because otherwise, it just keeps trying to focus all the damn time. Let's try this. Oh, stop it. They're gold with a diamond thing, little tiny diamond in the middle, and some diamonds on the outside. Anyway, they're pretty. They're white gold which I like. White gold. Cute. Zales, the diamond store. But I like the purse because it's nice and big, which I like big purses. I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, Jody. That's what I was eating earlier. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I baby that black purse because I like it. And I don't want anything to happen to it. And Chris said to me, 
just the other day before the person even the other person even came he goes you really must like that purse and i said why do you say that he goes because i've never seen you use the same purse for very long because i have like my old purses i usually rotate every few months between them you know not they're not expensive they're just cheapy walmarty type of purses crappy purses but i'll i'll use it for a few months and then i'll switch to another one that i had like a couple years ago and then i, I just switch around and this one i kept for like the last whole year I like big purses and I cannot lie. <laughs> yeah, that's what they have up there. I don't think they have Zales down here. Let's see now, is that yellow? Oh, that's the yellow. You got a purse on eBay? Cool. What kind of purse is it? Oh, maybe there is Zales here. I don't know. I haven't paid attention, I guess. Maybe we do have Zales up here. I just didn't. I just don't. I don't pay attention to jewelry stores because, again, I don't. I never go into a jewelry store because I'm just not big into jewelry. I have. I like junk jewelry because then you don't have to worry about it if you lose it. You know, it only costs, you know, five, ten, fifteen dollars maximum. And once it starts to, you know, go bad, usually it's you're ready for something new anyway. You know, once it starts to like lose its initial luster and the, you know the coating starts to come off or whatever it's like okay just get another one and then, then then i end up with a bunch of junk jewelry to use in my mixed media so yeah well that's where they live is up in up in new jersey so they live up north so that's where I didn't I didn't know whether Zales was down here or not in the south. Oh, cool, right? Do they have a website? You should send me the link if they do. Lily Bloom.
So then where do you get them from? If they don't have a website, you get them somewhere uh, locally, I'm assuming, maybe. Oh, Opry Mills Cool Springs in Rivergate. Yeah, Rivergate's right by me. But guess what? I've only been in that mall maybe four times in my life because I'm not a big mall shopper. I've been in Opry Mills several times because that's the only mall I really do like because Opry Mills is actually really nice and they have a nice movie theater. I do like the streets of Indian Lake because they got... That's where I went. we went to the movies there. It's like one of those outdoor malls things. And they, that's where we went and they had the recliners in all the movie theaters. When I saw A Star is Born, I got to sit in a, a recliner that was electric. That was interesting. Since then, I've seen the movie A Star is Born probably 40 times. up with some more paper than that. I'm going to run to my closet and see uh, what I can find as far as yellow paper. I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom too. <laughs>
<clears throat> not the easiest task in the world. Sorry. And that's not even yellow, or is it? It is. It's hard to find yellow paper. Because I don't do a lot of yellow. And so I struggle with that color a bit. Huh. I have to dig around and dig around and dig around and dig around. This one's yellow on one side, green on the other, but that's okay. She says she doesn't care if there's other colors. You know, but I'm trying to... This is like a creamy, buttery yellow. And then I have some just cream cardstock or off-white to try to balance out the pages a bit because I don't have any other color. were a couple of samples I got from somebody with this stuff stuck to them, so I'm going to have to cut them. This one I might be able to salvage a little. Eh, eh, I'll cut that off. These. Yeah, I'll just cut all that off. Whatever. What am I making? Um, journal. I'm fixing the pages for the journal I'm making. Fixing the pages. Night, Cynthia. Hope your headache and your migraine gets better. Green color. There's some yellow in here, I think. Well, that's kind of yellow, and that's yellow. Hmm. It's going to be hard to fill five signatures or 
four signatures or however many I'm putting in here when you don't have a ton of yellow paper. You may have to resort to putting a different color in here too, like pink or something. Which the cover has, or the inside cover has pink and yellow. and Well, and blue, so I could do blue too. So I'll probably end up doing that, throwing in some blue, because there is a lot of pages with blue on them too. So, what red striped paper are you talking about? Red striped paper. Oh, there was red stripe in the... Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Here, use the scraps for other things. and crooked. It's always nice to know that I can cut anything straight. Your video is frozen? Uh-oh. You know what that means, don't you? It means the aliens are coming down. They're going to come and they're going to abduct you and take you to their leader. And that's the first thing they do is freeze the video when you're watching your, you know, a live stream. Because they want you to be preoccupied with why that's frozen so that they can come to your house and take you. So, just say no. When they try to mess with your reproductive system, tell them no. Because they'll try. They'll try to get you. Okay. Alright, so we've got 12 by 12 papers galore. Got to try to get these separated in a way that will work. So here's these. I'm going to take the muted yellow colors and put them over here. That's kind of muted. What's on the inside of this one? Muted or bright? Mm -hmm. These are kind of bright. These are like medium bright.
separate signature so that they don't look funny next to each other because some of these yellows if you put them next to each other like right next to each other they look weird so i'm going to try to do it so that they don't look weird as much as possible we'll see how that works out pocket pages like this one. A pocket page. This one's too thin. I don't really want to use that as a pocket page. This one can be a pocket page. But I'm not frozen. I'm not still. How am I still? You not see me moving? say so. If you say so. I don't know. Four signatures. Hmm.
Can I see your question this time? Mm, well, I don't see anything right now, but I'm not scrolling up yet. I haven't scrolled up. I haven't moved my stuff. Uh, let's see. When I make the pocket sheets and tuck-ins, do I know what I'm going to put in them? No. No, I don't know ahead of time. I usually figure that out afterwards. I just make them. <laughs> I don't really plan much when I make a journal. I just make it and then I figure it out later. That's all. <clears throat> pencil, pencil. Pencil, 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 pencil. Get your pencil. What did I do with the mark that I made? What? How did I make it? I'm not losing my mind. No, it's right there. I was looking on this side instead of that side. Duh. Two sets of smaller pages, and then we'll do that again with this one. These will be smaller pages, and maybe this one. This one, or these here pages. Janie, did you fall asleep? People in the chat want to know if you fell asleep. She didn't fall. She couldn't have fallen asleep. She's somewhere. She's somewhere. Janie is somewhere. 
She might have went to let the dog out or something. She's been gone for a while. <laughs> I haven't heard her chime in anywhere for a good while. <sighs> Who's cheating on you? Nobody would cheat on you. Good night, Cheryl. No one would ever cheat on you. I'll beat their ass. I won't allow it. All right, let's get that out of the way now and figure this out. Let's see here. Ah, these are the ones with the pockets, right? Yeah, let's put those over here. Split those up first. Has she? She hasn't been gone that long, has she? Did she leave? Did she say goodbye? I didn't see her say goodbye. Why did she leave so early? Where'd Shazzy go? Shazzy leave too? Yeah, I guess you're right. She's going to be right back and then she hasn't been back. I hope everything's all right. Huh. They're conspiring. They're being conspiring. They're conspiring against, against all of us. They're coming to get us. They're plotting to take over the world. And they left me out of it. It's not nice. There's Shaz there's uh Shazzy. Where are the rest of where are the rest of them? No, we don't want to know if you're still here, Karen. <laughs> She's gonna smack me. I didn't see you come in because I must have been going to get paper, so I, I didn't see you come in, Karen. I was out, so don't count me in on that. I wasn't here. Ooh, I don't want that. What the hell am I doing? Do another one. I'll do the polka dots first.
See, like certain yellows do not look good together, so I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. It's not easy to do at all. Dang it. None of these look good next to this one, except for that one, which isn't even, almost doesn't look yellow. I don't know. Those two for now. Yikes, that's hard to do. more difficult than expected <laughs> to try to put these yellows together without having a clash of some sort. Well, I'm going to add another color in, either blue or pink or both. Um, but first, I want to get the signatures started and get them situated before I add any other papers in. So that this way I have the yellows all situated, then I can tuck the blues in here and there. But I need to do this first. for this one because I put too many in this one. <sighs> Let's see, who do I put in here? Do you know where those little ones left? I used all of them. What? I used all of them? Let me put right in here. Oh, I do have one in there. Okay, at least I have one. Thank you. 
four signatures started. They're not perfectly even at this moment, but this one, I don't know. I will have to figure out what to do, what to do. 3 a.m. med check. <laughs> I don't want that one there. I'd rather have that one on the outside. Mm. Oof, these don't even match, but whatever. Yeah, I guess. Okay. drink go oh I left my drink out there dang it hold on I'll be right back Okay. Okay. I don't know what kind of blue I have. Let's see. I have one that has yellow flowers. somewhere had yellow flowers or something maybe not no, just that one okay huh. like some greens and greens or aquas and greens. A little bit of pink. I don't know about that one, but excuse you. It's really hard to look through these books. It's a little bright. That's a good color.
pay attention to what's in the back very much. Night, Kathy. Eighty doll, how long have you been here? Yeah, this is your journal. See, that's the cover, and I'm working on the inside pages. It's gonna have some blue and pink in it. I hope that's all right because I don't have enough yellow pages to just use yellow, really. So I have to add in a few other colors, which I, I know you said it doesn't matter, but I was trying to keep it as yellow as possible if I could. If I could, but turns out I don't have as much yellow paper as I thought I did. I mean, I have a decent amount, but okay. So, how many of those other pages do I have? Two in each one, right? And two pocket pages. And that one, there's one, two, and that one, there's one, and this one, I think. Yeah, so this one will go in here align with this. So, and there's two in this one, okay, that's all we need for that. So, we just need to cut this page. These pages. I have a lot of yellow paper throughout, you know, a bunch of different books. But what I mean is I don't have enough to do all four signatures of this book. Like to fully do all of the signatures with all yellow paper. I have to add in a few other pieces is what I mean. In other words, I don't have any books. I don't have any scrapbook books that are scrapbook paper packs that are all yellow based is what I mean by that. They're all mixed. 
There's like mixed in with other books. There's some yellow, but that's about it. Some of these have a perforation at that top thing. Others do not. yellow paper most likely bottom anyway. Let's see, how many pink ones do we have? Any of these ones with one page? Two, two, three, four. So one pink page per, per thing. Too tall. Why is it too tall? I'm going to measure it against this one. Too tall. Let's try cutting two at a time. Still too tall. Just right. Okay. I just need it a little off the top.
What are you doing with Vaseline? What? No, use Aquaphor. Don't use Vaseline. Use Aquaphor. Vaseline's not as good for your skin as Aquaphor is. Aquaphor will help cracked feet, cracked lips. It helps everything. Hi, Linda. How are you, Miss Linda? one and here. No. Oh. I need two more colored ones for this one. I'm also going to use one of these. Which 
one was a really light one. I think it was this one. This one needed a little assistance. pages as the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one has ten. One. I'm not going to count that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Twelve in each, I think. So this one has ten. No, well, now it has twelve. Twelve. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Good. Good little signature. How many do you have, little signature? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm not counting that piece. 11. You need one more page to be a good little signature. You need one more page. Let's see what I got over here somewhere. Yellow, yellow, hello, yellow, or blue, or something. Page or both. Right, so they all have twelve pages. Pages. Hmm. 
<laughs> pages. Just not what order they're going to go in, though. It's going to go like that. I think. Yeah. Okay. We got you situated. Save all this to use inside as we need to. Actually, I think I'm going to get off of here for tonight because I'm feeling a little run down and tired. But I will be back on Friday. On Friday. And I won't be as run down and tired. <laughs> so, hope you guys have a good night. Tomorrow on Friday, I'll start gathering the pages for the purple one, and then they'll all have to be put together. Yeah. I hope you have a good night, everybody. Get some rest. Get some rest. Be all rested up for Friday. <laughs> You're welcome, Adi Doll. I hope you like it. Do you like the colors and everything of the pages? Is it good? It's not all yellow, but it's a lot of yellow. Mostly yellow. 90% yellow. With a little pink thrown in. Thanks, Carla. Hi, Sita. Awesome. Glad you like it. All right. Have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Poodle Pack. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.